Welcome to another episode of 9 to 5 Mac Weekly, where it doesn't matter where I am when we've got an exclusive. I'm your host, Miles Somerville, and if you're a fan of good ideas, consider subscribing to the channel for future content like this. We're less than a week to go from the first Apple event of the year, and we've got some wild left field exclusive leaks. And trust me, you're definitely going to want to hear this because this kind of changes everything we're expecting as far as this event goes. So to recap everything we're expecting next week at this event, firstly, an iPhone SE with no redesign, an A15 chip and 5G connectivity. Then we're expecting an iPad Air 5 with once again, no redesign, an A15 chip, center stage functionality, improved cameras and 5G functionality. And then we're expecting at least one new Mac at this event. And we finally figured out what that Mac is, or at least we think we did. Through one of our very trusted sources, we've been able to learn that Apple plans on launching a high-end Mac desktop next week at Apple's event, and that this Mac will come with an M1 chip that exceeds the power levels of the M1 Max chips in the current high-end MacBook Pros. We've also been told that this Mac is going to replace the top-of-the-line Intel Mac Mini with the 6-core i5 or 6-core i7, except it's not going to be called Mac Mini. It's going to be called Mac Studio. So Apple isn't really giving us the true Mac Pro here from what we know, but this is essentially going to be that mini Mac Pro that we've heard a lot about from Mark Gurman and sources like that. I think it's interesting that Apple's not going to take the Mac Mini line and give it that pro level treatment that we've all been kind of waiting for with Apple Silicon. But I think if this Mac Studio sits perfectly between the Mac Mini and Mac Pro in terms of price and performance, I'm perfectly fine with that. And especially if this Mac Studio is going to be around the same size as the Mac Mini, that'll be cool as well. It'll essentially be a Mac Mini Pro in spirit, just not in name. But that's not all because we've also learned that this Mac is going to launch alongside a brand new display that will replace the Pro Display XDR, come with an even higher resolution and even more features. This image gives us an alleged resolution of the studio display, which is absolutely monstrous. It is substantially higher res than the already insane Pro Display XDR, which is $5,000. So you might think that because this display is higher resolution, that it's going to cost more. Well, not quite. I think the idea so far is that this display is going to essentially replace the Pro Display XDR and shouldn't be more expensive. At least we're assuming it won't be more expensive. We've heard lots of rumors about a mid-range display that will be underneath the Pro Display XDR, but offer a lot of the same qualities and features and potentially come with an A-series chip inside to enhance its capabilities. Apparently this is not that, but this display is rumored to be coming with not only the A13 chip, but a neural engine processor. The current Pro Display XDR is nearly as bleeding edge as you can get with that 6K resolution, the mini LED HDR display. So what this display is going to bring, this new display is essentially gonna give us that higher resolution. You're gonna get ProMotion technology allegedly, and all the features that come along with having an A series chip and a neural engine inside. So something that we can definitely expect is a built-in CPU and GPU to essentially take the load off of any Mac that you've got connected to it. So let's say you've got this crazy high resolution display and a Mac connected to it with not the greatest GPU ever. Essentially that CPU and GPU will kind of take care of that load for the Mac so that you're not really putting any extra stress on the Mac when connecting it to that display. And as I said, all the other features that could come with having an A-series chip inside, like a center stage camera or a just high resolution camera in general. And there could be the potential for AirPlay technology to be involved. That would be really cool. There's honestly a pretty wide list of things you could do with this monitor after putting a CPU and GPU inside. And I'm really excited to see what Apple does with this. We have a code name for this monitor. It's J237, but outside of that, we really don't have any other technical specifications outside of the processor that's potentially going to be inside and the resolution, the size, the build, everything else is more or less unknown. But from what we know, we should very much expect to at least get information on this new display 
next week and that's really 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 exciting assuming this monitor is priced anything like the current pro display xdr it's probably not going to be something i buy for myself but it'll definitely be interesting to check out. And just like when the original Pro Display XDR was rumored to come out long ago, not all the exact features that were rumored for that display came to light, so the very same thing could be the case for this display as well, but I do definitely believe this display will at least have an A-series chip or an M-series chip inside that display. So to sum this up, in addition to the iPhone SE3 and iPad Air 5, next week we're expecting a Mac Studio, which will essentially be a mini Mac Pro, and hopefully in between the Mac Mini and Mac Pro in terms of price, alongside a reveal of a Mac Studio display, which will essentially be the replacement for the current Pro Display XDR, and hopefully lay the groundwork for where the true mid-range Pro Display XDR alternative will be like in the future. One thing I know for sure though, it's going to be a crazy expensive month, but if you're looking forward to all the content that's coming from that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content like this. Now let us know in the comments below, what are you looking forward to most in this upcoming week? And what are your thoughts on this Mac Studio and Studio Display? Is this something you're gonna be interested in? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.